today we will uh, discuss about WordPress, especially in WooCommerce plugin. Mm-hmm. Let me share my screen first. Yep, let's do. Have you seen it, sir? Yeah, I've seen your uh, video and your blog post. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, this is my WordPress. Okay. I have installed WooCommerce plugin. Okay, but uh, first, please follow the agenda. Yeah, please follow the agenda. Okay. Is it, sir? Yeah, and actually you should put that uh, before the agenda, uh, before the actual meeting. So what is your personal best and business best? You actually should oh. write them down before the actual meeting. So, okay, now please uh, write, write them down first. Uh, this is for, for what? Um, I don't understand. For during the last week, okay. Oh, okay. I've done, sir. Okay. Okay, so tell me about it. Okay. Now, okay. my personal best and last week is I have restored staging product Indo on my WordPress. Okay, but please move that to business best. Okay, so I would, I would say because that okay. is related to uh, the professional side during the last week. So personal best is more about beyond the walls of um, what we do as a team. So do you have a personal best during the last week? Wait, uh, I think. Hmm. Yes, nice. sir. So what is that bootcamp? It's about data science. Mm. Okay. The bootcamp name is uh, Sandbar Code. Mm. That's good. Uh, and then my business best is I have learned about WooCommerce plugin and I've restored staging product Indo on my WordPress. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's jump to point four. Uh, my my good report is can restore staging product in the not come to my WordPress. Okay. And have learned set up WooCommerce plugin. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to add this. Uh, Okay, uh, if you have issues, uh, can you please move the issues? Is it the, is it the issue still there? Are you still having problems there? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, for the problems, please move them to the issues list. So there okay. is a separate section below for the issues list. OK, 
Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, let's jump to point five. Mm -hmm. I have published my weekly video mm -hmm. at Lovia Team YouTube channel. Okay. And I have made a summarized video on in blog post. Okay. I have set up my WooCommerce plugin and restore product in the staging. Okay. For the ones who are done, please uh, check them. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, let's jump to point seven issues list. Mm -hmm. I have problem to load image on home display. Mm -hmm. I mean product product image. Okay, so let's discuss about it. Do you have any other issues that you would like to discuss during this meeting? I think just it. Okay. Okay, so show it to me and let's see if we can solve the problem now. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is my WordPress. Mm -hmm. The image is blank. Okay, so uh, please uh, like do an inspect to see what the URL that is cannot be uh, open the URL of the images. I can I can even open the image. Yeah, but you have to inspect it. Okay. So you know what is the URL that is being uh, okay. Okay, try to find the URL. Can you show me the URL? This is sir. Okay. It's redirect to localhost. Okay. Okay, uh, can you open that URL with the full um, network trace of it? Okay, try to try, try to open that URL. Like that exact URL, just that one URL on a new tab, but with the full network uh, trace. So instead of just clicking on it and then you know get a director or something. Make that a full trace of the network tab. Copy the U okay. Copy the URL first. I will show you how. Copy the URL first. Okay. Right. And after that, you make a new tab. Okay. Okay. And then uh, open in the inspect. Okay. Okay. And go to network. Okay. Okay, and there should be an option there to like not uh, not clear the lock or something. Okay, can you have a, can you find it? Uh, maybe on settings or something. Okay, because you are using Firefox, right? But there should be a setting there. I think it should be on the network tab again. Mm. There should be a setting there. I can find it, sir. Okay, click on click on the settings button. Oh, okay. Is that? Yeah, I think it should be like simple lock. Is it? Okay. And then try to paste the URL there. Uh, maybe clear clear the lock first before pasting. Okay. Uh, this. Oh. Okay. okay, and then I'll try to paste it. 
Okay, now click on the first request. Okay, sir. Okay, now do you see anything wrong with the URL? The status is found. Okay. But, uh, Still don't found, sir. Okay, now check check the URL path. Does that uh, does that point to a real file on your computer? Uh, I I don't know, sir. Well, check it out. Uh, can you open that folder on your computer and see if the exact folder structure matches uh, matches that? Okay. Uh, by the way, you need to reshare the screen here. Oh, okay. Because you cannot see it. So I'd say a good way for you to do this is just do it uh, side by side. Yeah. You have your yes, Firefox window maybe on the left, and then on the right side you explore the folder where you put WordPress and let's see if that file exists in the exact folder structure that you are using. Uh, I don't have a folder for a uh, name is six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my first question would be what backup did you Restore. It's from. Wait, sir. Let me. Let me show you. No, 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 no. I mean, what what big update you restore? Not what big update you download. Okay. So, uh, oh. tell tell me what what are the files that you downloaded to your computer? It's database. Only database, so I would say yes, that's sir. that's the problem because there are several files there. Okay, so oh. um, okay, so I will try to go there again to you know the the backups. Okay, so now you see which which one did you download? This one, sir. Okay, the problem is that is only the database backup. So if you are complaining that Hey, where are the photos? Where are the images? Where are the files? Of course, because you are only downloading the database. Can you scroll down below and okay. then see the backup at uh, not, not not too much. Still the rec the recent one. Okay, scroll above. Okay. Okay. Now check out which one is the most recent backup that has all of the needed backups. This one? No, it's still database only. Okay, try to find the most recent backup, but complete one. Oh, maybe this? Not that one. It's still only database. Okay, uh, this one, sir. Yeah, that's exactly. So it's okay oh. that you get a, a little bit older download, but it's the most recent one that has, if you see there, how many oh. types of backups is included there? Oh, okay. It's five. Yeah. yeah it has database, plugins, themes, uh, uploads, and others. Okay, so yeah. After this, your task will be to try that again, and then you download each of these files, and yeah, should should be working on your computer. It will take some time though, because yeah, you will need to download uh, it. It will probably be a quite a big of a file, but at least now you get the the full, yeah, uh, the full feature of it on your computer. 
uh, may I know mm-hmm. why it, why it's just a database backup? Okay, uh, click on the settings. Settings. No. Yep. This one. Yep. Okay. okay. Check out that schedule. Okay. So, do you know the reason now? Oh, it's weekly backup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also a way to reduce the uh, resources used by the server because uh, oh. making a, a database backup is faster. And making a file spec up uh, takes a longer time, okay? Because there might be several hundreds of megabytes or even gigabytes in a file spec up. But the database oh. spec up is, yeah. And we need a more frequency of database spec up because if something goes wrong, then the database will be most crucial to uh, restore. Uh, because there will be like transaction data in there, right? but the yeah. file spec up is um, mostly like the photos of products and so on. Okay, sir. Okay, let's back to our. Okay. Schedule. So I would say on issues list because that's probably solved. So uh, okay. can you turn that into? Uh, to do list and then check that. So in the issues list, there should be a to do list. Okay. No, I mean just just turn it into a to do list. So you can go back before, uh, just undo and restore like previously, and then click on it. Okay, and then turn into to do. No, 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 no. I mean turn into. It's it's still an issues list. Don't move it anywhere, oh, just make oh. it back. And then click on it, okay? And then turn okay. it to to-do list. Oh, okay. Yep. And then check that. Okay, so that means like the, that issue is, is done. Uh, at least we have a solution. So I would say on recap to-do list, uh, put a to-do list for uh, re restoring that again with the full backup, yeah. Sir. Okay, and I would say that, um, okay. Um, okay, so you can remove uh, the other to-do list for now, because uh, that is uh, from copy pasting. Yeah. So I will show you another way. Okay, so I would say let's go back to um, let's go back to rock rock review. Yeah, let's go back to rock review. So we will discuss what you are, but uh, what you will be doing here. And uh, I think that is not your rock, right? So actually, you should create your own rock. Uh, that's that's Dimas's rock, right? And yes. okay, let's see. You have middle product board and then product in the board. Okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would say that in this case, um, let's go to Milov product board okay. and let's create a, a rock for you there. Okay, so a rock is something that happens, uh, I would say it happens per quarter. So it has a duration of at most three months. And with this that within that three months, uh, these are the something the things that you need to achieve, okay, during uh, that time. 
So let's go to, uh, you can go to the end of it on the rocks part and then add a new card there. Okay. Okay, and um, let's for now just, just type a name. Yeah, maybe name it rock for Maulana and then we will discuss this rock. And then open it. Okay, now go to uh, type and change the type to epic. Okay, change the priority to P3. Okay. Okay, product manager to me and assign to you. Okay, okay, sir. And then uh, scroll down below and then make it uh, change a template to projects. Okay. Uh, actually, that's not really required, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. I think it's a, it's a good practice anyway to have a problem statement. Okay, so let's see. Mm. Okay, so I would say that the problem statement is that um, we need a way for you to know how to uh, extend WooCommerce or WordPress functionality. Yeah. Okay, so put that. Okay. And also integrate with another system. Yeah. Extend. WordPress or WooCommerce functionality and integrate with another system. WooCommerce, what, sir? Yeah, WooCommerce or WordPress functionality and integrate it with another system. Okay, so I would say that the proposed work that you will do here is uh, for the proposed work. First is that you will, um, okay, you will learn how uh, WordPress, WooCommerce, and Dokkan works internally, yeah. Okay. Learn how. WordPress, WooCommerce, and Dokkan works. Okay. Okay. And then second is that, uh, yeah, fi fix bugs. Yeah. The second one will be fix bugs. Uh, okay. But the exact box that you will fix, uh, we will discuss about it later. So I would say the plan is that to get you uh, acquaintance with maybe start with the uh, easier box, hopefully, yeah. Start from the easier box and then go to the more challenging box. Okay, sir. So I would say that easier box will be like, I don't know, uh, for an easier bug that we will like two, two or three bucks per week, yeah. Okay, you, okay, can, you can put you can put there uh, two or three bucks per week, and then after that, uh, if you have a more challenging bug, it could even take more time. Okay, but even if you can solve one bug in a week, that was already a very good accomplishment, yeah. Because okay, uh, have you ever? had a WordPress development experience before? Not yet, sir. Okay, not yet. And I would say, and then the third one, I would say that there will be a four subtasks here. The third one will be to uh, um, modify or create a plugin uh, for a new feature. 
modify the object again for a new feature. Okay. So we will discuss what that new feature will be, but uh, for now, we will need to be able to fix bugs because, oh, I would say that number two will be not just fix bugs, but diagnose, okay? So diagnose and fix bugs. It, it's, it could actually be like a separate one, yeah? Okay, I would say that this, this should be separate. So number two will be diagnose bugs, and then number three will be like fix uh, the bugs because diagnosing is a very important part here. Uh, diagnose bugs and then yeah and then fix bugs yeah that that could be like two or three bucks per week okay or maybe you can diagnose more bugs but only fix some of them uh, so okay sir. A lot more but yeah that's that generally the structure and then after modifying create a plugin for a new feature mm, the fifth one will be to uh, uh, to create a plugin. Hmm, let's see, how do I put this in? Uh, okay. Okay, create a plugin that integrates with Miluf GraphQL API. API. Um, okay, I will put this specifically. Uh, you can say colon and then profiles. Profiles and then uh, areas. Yeah. Profiles, areas. Uh, not not columns, but colon. Colon is titik dua. Oh, okay. Colon is titik dua. No, no, don't point to word colon. Put the actual oh. character character of colon. Yeah, meaning like yeah. So it's just middle of API and what what are the APIs? Okay. So we like using the profiles API and then areas and then what else? Hmm. Okay, I would say that's that's it there. Yeah. yeah, I would say that that will be about it. And if you can complete this uh, within the next few weeks, yeah, I would say that would be uh, very good for you. It has a range of uh, problems, yeah. It's a diverse set of problems. You're like diagnosing bugs and have an experience with WooCommerce, Token, PHP, WordPress, and also GraphQL API. Mm, and then when you get to GraphQL, then you will also work with uh, Dimas, because yeah, Dimas is working on GraphQL. This will be actually like a two different projects, but there will be a commonality in that they uh, both Miluf and Product Indo uses the same uh, WordPress platform. Okay. Okay, sir. So, about that proposed work, do you think that those are interesting work for you, or do you want uh, to have another work or something? Yes, sir. Okay, that's nice. So, that is your epic. So, let's go back to scroll. Uh, on the top ones, and now it's time to you to put the timeline there. What what time do you think you will finish all of the uh, all of the sub subtasks below? Because Epic is like yeah, it's a more like medium term mm -hmm. one. Let's see, maybe. Nine August or two August? Two August. I would say that is not uh, realistic, yeah. Uh, because, uh, yeah, uh, these these are actually a lot of tasks, yeah. So, okay, 
But if you want to try 9 August, it's okay. Try it. But I'm pretty sure that uh, when, it, when the time comes, uh, yeah, we'll extend it. Usually, um, based on my experience, yeah, based on experience, uh, an intern will say, will like make a timeline of like about one month, but then it will extend to like one and a half month and then extend it about two months. But uh, there will be a different experience for a different person. So, okay, set it on 9 August and we'll see how it goes. Okay, sir. My my personal uh, expectation of this is that it should be done uh, before before three months, and that that means the maximum one would be uh, the end of September. Yeah. So okay, of course, uh, if you can complete all of them by September, I would say that this will be a successful internship for me. But if you can complete that before the end of September, uh, that will be good because then you will uh, you can learn uh, something more. Okay, not not just this one. Okay. Okay. So that's the epic. So let's go back to your meeting agenda, and then link to this epic. Oh yeah, I think you should name it. Yeah, I think the name is still Maulana. Oh yeah. Okay. So I would say that in this case, the epic would be like, um, okay, how to make it short. Uh, maybe uh, okay. Um, okay. Maybe let's say that this will be like WooCommerce development and GraphQL API integration. Okay, that would be good. Okay, so go back to your meeting agenda and then link to this uh, epic from your agenda in the Rock Review. Okay, in the Rock Review, can you? Okay, so have you used Notion before? I haven't, sir. Okay, but uh, you're doing good now. You know how to link two pages, right? Okay, sir. Yep. That's your rock. Okay, so any questions so far? Uh, not yet, sir. Okay. So now, um, okay, let's go to product Indo board now. Let's go to product Indo board and let's see the one that has been assigned to you. Um, you can go to, yeah, that one. Okay, now I'll try to read about it and see if you know what is being asked here. I don't get it, what's, what's the task? Okay, uh, is, that, is that all? Okay, so let's open the staging product in the website and I will show you what this means. Okay, go, go to the, yeah, okay, go to the front end. All right, that's nice. And okay, uh, let's open a uh, open the shop page. Yeah. Okay, yeah, belanja sekarang. That will be belanja sekarang. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then scroll down. Scroll down, and let's see. Can you open uh, makanan dan minuman? Yeah. Can you open makanan dan minuman? Okay. Right. Okay. And scroll down below. 
okay and okay and then uh, maybe click on one of them one of the products okay okay uh oh there's no okay let me find uh, can you find another category let's find a category where there is like a subcategory mm, maybe Hmm. I think in this case there is no not one that it, there is a subcategory, right? Okay, I guess in this case, uh, let's change one of the products so that they use a subcategory. So maybe find a okay find a product maybe that one produk ini digunakan untuk tes tampilan vendor maybe click on that product okay ah and then click on the mentega link above mentega oh, okay. link on the yeah the category all right so actually this this should be like the category is makanan dan minuman and then there is subcategory of mentega right Oh, when when we hover this category. Okay, so I would say that. Uh, okay, so I would say that the the generally, if we are, yeah, I think th this needs uh, some discussion. But I would say that for the first uh, for the first thing that we want to do here is that. On the left side, on the category, uh, on the category side, right? The what's needed is that this mentega category and all of the subcategories of makanan dan minuman should show on the left side, because it's not showing, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So we need to find a way so that a user can then uh, click directly on the mentega subcategory or or any other categories. Uh, that are in the system, but only those categories who are not empty. Okay, those categories who are okay. not empty. So, can you check out maybe? Um, can you click on the other categories? Uh, yeah, maybe Ban 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 or something. Okay, so this one. Yeah, so it, it is exactly the problem. Okay, so when you click on Bahan Bangunan, it actually there is no product there, right? So I would say that these are two separate problems. Okay, these are two separate problems. But uh, I would say that the, the first one that you are going to tackle is, is the problem that uh, there is actually a subcategory, but that category is not accessible from the uh, sidebar. Okay. okay. So the task here would be, okay, let me, Okay, so so you do do you get the issue now? Is it clear enough for you? What is the problem? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So can you go back to Notion and then, um, yeah, put your own notes there so that you understand what is what is the problem there. So because this description is not clear, actually, Masiaski is responsible for making the description as clear as possible. So, uh, yeah, I will show it uh, to Masiaski so that uh, the, uh, the description of a, a bug or a task should be, uh, should be clear, yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, this is actually already. OK. 
Okay. I would say Okay Oke, okay. so okay. Now bahan bangunan kategori that is uh, actually a different bug. Okay, can you like uh, cut that to the clipboard? So make a new card for that. Because that will be a different one. Okay, and then uh, please make a new card on the product in the board. Okay. Make that a new card on to do. Okay. And yeah, okay, just open it. So, so this, so yeah, you can you can put the the clipboard on. The, you can paste it on description. But the actual bug here is not. The actual bug here is not that. Okay, you can you can put, uh, paste that on the description so you have something. Yeah. So I would say that the bug is not when clicked on bahan bangunan kategori. So the bug is actually, uh, does bahan bangunan category has any product in there? Hello? Good, sir. Yeah. Does bahan bangunan category has any products in, inside it? it? It has not, sir. Okay. So my question will be, if you are the one that uh, that is designing this website or if you are the one as the customer if okay. there is a category that has no products in it do you think that it should be in the navigation menu at all no sir no okay so the problem is not when clicking on it then then it's gone no but the problem should be that categories who are empty should not be shown at all so it oh. should only be showing categories who have products the ones to okay. do have products should be yeah should be entirely empty okay okay so okay so make make that uh yeah make that description on the issue so that you understand uh the problem Okay, that's good. Is it clear enough for the description? If it's clear enough, then please change the metadata there. Like, okay, so there should be uh, like a sign or, I think there should be like product name. I think there should be just a sign. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you can put a sign there. And then type would be, uh, I would say type would be bug. Okay, and priority, I think, I think the priority is uh, P3. This is, I think, a, a normal priority. It's not 
making the system done or something. Now the timeline will be up to you. So what do you think uh, you can fix this bug? Um, yeah. Okay. I would say I would say that my own expectation would be before the next meeting. Yeah, that is my own okay. expectation. But for you, up to you. Maybe it's Saturday and this okay. week. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can put a remi reminder in there, but that will be up to you. Okay. okay, and that's for this one. And uh, oh yeah, change the title. Yeah, change okay. the title. If you have no idea, you can just copy the one from description. I think it's also clear enough. But again, it's up to you. As long as is it it is clear for you what the bug is about. Okay, so that's nice. And then please uh, also complete the the other task. Uh, yeah, the other bug, that is the first bug about uh, showing subcategories. Okay. Okay, uh, can you open the other, the other bug? So you have, you have two bugs this week, right? Yes. Okay, can, can you open the other book on the product in the board? Mm. This one, sir. One. Okay. I think, uh, is, is the, do you need to complete any of the metadata? Are you happy with the timeline and so on? Uh, okay. It's okay for me, sir. Okay, components are possible again. Okay. So now, uh, and then you please move the priority. Uh, I mean, not priority, the order. Oh, that's because oh, okay. priority is P1. So please change that to P3. Change the priority to P3. Yep, change the priority to P3. And okay. then uh, is the title clear enough for you? If not, then yes, please, sir. please change the title. But if it's clear, that's okay. So go to the board and make sure that the ordering is that the subcategory one is above because then it should be like a... Okay. Priority. And if you are confused here, uh, you can go to, I think you can go to... You can go to filter, yeah. You can go to filter and you can add a filter. Try it. And then you can change that uh, assign to me. Yeah, pick a person me. Just just use me because that, oh. that will make it dynamic. Okay. okay, nice. So if you are like, you know, like, what is this? Uh, too many cards and so on. Yeah, you can uh, change that so that uh, okay. it's only showing for you. Okay. But yeah, after you are done about it, and you can click the filter again and remove the filter. Because the weird thing about Notion here is that, uh, yeah, you can like uh, remove that. Is that okay. the filter is apply is applied to all of the users? So other users, when seeing this, then they will also see the filter. So that's weird. Okay. Okay. I think a better way is to make a view. Yeah. Let's see. Assign to. Okay. Okay. Group. I assigned. 
कोई असाइन नहीं है ओके कैन यू क्लिक ऑन डिफॉल्ट व्यू देयर कैन यू क्लिक ऑन डिफॉल्ट व्यू ओके ओके एंड देन चेंज टू बाय असाइन so it's a different way of uh seeing the same thing but this this time it's divided by who is being assigned to that one okay so you can also click on the left sidebar on the product in the board and uh, like okay. expand that one the, this is this one? no the like the arrow sign okay okay you can click on default view and by assign so it's a way of you to change the oh. view of the same board Okay, feel free to create other views that make it more uh, comfortable for you. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, so now go back to meeting agenda and link to these two cards on your recap to do. Okay, we still got a couple of up. Yeah, that's true. And then link to the. The cards that you have uh, assigned before. Wait, I forgot. Hmm. Okay. And the other one, the subcategory one. Uh, and the yes, subcategory should be uh, the, the, you know, should move it to the second position. Yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs> so, so far, any question about this one? Nothing, sir. Okay. I do have a tip for you, though. Mm. So, anytime you have any problems uh, of diagnosing this this issue and where to go, uh, you can ask me. Okay. You can ask me okay, on sir. this no shot card. You can, uh, do you know how to use comments? Uh, scroll up, try to scroll up. Yeah, okay, so there are comments there, yeah? In the comments, oh, you can like okay. add, add me, okay? Uh, add me and then type something. I would say that the best way to put the comments is on the issue card, not on the meeting agenda. So because the meeting agenda is discussing oh. something about the meeting, but then you can, you can go to the card on the board, okay, and then comment there. Okay, so it's about the subcategory one. Uh, you open that card and then add. So that means all of the issues about that, uh, of the discussion about that card will be on that card. So it makes it easy okay. to follow uh, the, the problems being discussed, okay? So anytime you have something to ask, just ask there, but uh, you can also discuss on uh, the chat room, yeah, on WordPress Dev chat room. Uh, feel free to discuss there. And actually, if the discussion is more about WordPress or WooCommerce in general, then I would prefer it to be done there, as maybe the discussion will be beneficial for not only you and me. But also maybe Masiaski or uh, Razip, yeah. And, okay. Uh, uh, probably we will have another uh, WordPress developer joining uh, during the next week. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Okay. So that will be a, a good way to have a discussion generally about WordPress. Uh, but if there is a discussion about the specific task, uh, it can be done in the issue card. Okay, that's my first tip. Okay, sir. My second tip is that maybe a way to do this is instead of you know, like writing your own filter or something, uh, or writing your own uh, widget, yeah? Uh, I would say the, the approach to this problem is writing your widget that can be used by WooCommerce and put it on the sidebar. Uh, that would be the most uh, customizable way to do this. Mm. Because then any request 
from yeah from Pak Benny something okay I want the category list to be something like this and so on uh, because you wrote that code then will be customized easily okay but the other way would be to uh, to use a, a plugin that already has this feature it will be actually will be up to you how you approach the problem but I will show you uh, an example okay can you uh, can you google like a WooCommerce category list plugin okay okay, okay. all right so this one sir yeah is it free yeah okay so it's probably this one but i would say that maybe can you search the other ones okay okay this is this is just one plugin right you can you can try finding again i would say that there there has to be like several different plugins that provide the similar uh functionality yeah so ah oh, that one the happy the healthy uh that one the healthy we wp okay can you go back to the google list okay google yeah this one the, yeah the, the best one okay so some of them uh could be free and some of them could be yeah free and paid right okay so as you can see there are a lot of options that can be used here the one that are you know it's like yeah just install the plugin and configure it and basically you're done but yeah yeah maybe you will not learn much but you you can try it okay you can compare i would say that my recommendation for you is that you can install that and compare how it works with the one that you if you want to try to code it yourself okay which, sure. which way you take will be up to you but in terms of like the product owner the product owner will be happy whichever path you take as long as uh, it will face the requirement right do you understand that okay sir. yeah but for you the way you take will be uh, up to you okay, okay so sir. Uh, which which one do you think uh the approach that you 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 will choose do you choose to like install a plugin or do you choose to write the code yourself or you try both i will try both okay i would say that's a that's a good approach to it yeah so if you if you try both then in the next video please make a comparison between the the approaches yeah and yeah and then your opinion on after trying the alternatives uh, which one that you think is uh, is the best uh, according to your uh, opinion okay sir. okay I would say that's that's all for me okay okay uh, the conclude is first one is restoring data with full backup and the second one is my task is subcategory and third one is my other task in product product in the board mm. that's it for this meeting oh uh, and uh, please mod, click, uh, put another to do there apply the changes to staging yeah. apply the changes to staging Although it will be up to you, yeah. If you want to make the changes in local uh, before applying to staging, that's also good. But if you want to make your changes directly to staging, that is also okay because the staging side is, yeah. The the purpose of staging side is that you have a way to like uh, play around without affecting the the life side. Okay. Okay, so, sir. Uh, so you have my permission to change the staging and yeah apply uh, that directly 
So, okay, maybe now I want to ask, uh, do you want to, your approach is that whether you want to make the changes to staging directly, or you want to play with it locally and then uh, apply that to staging later? Which one will you uh, take? Maybe uh, apply the changes on locally first, mm -hmm. then try it on the staging. Okay, that's nice. Okay. And actually the next one will be applied to live, yeah. So put that below and then apply changes to production side. Okay. Okay. And yeah, because uh, we will have a product Indo meeting uh, during uh, the next Saturday, yeah, because the product Indo meeting uh, will be on every Saturday at 10 a.m., usually 10 a.m., yeah, not, not 11 a.m. So okay, sir. if you can do the apply to changes to staging before, yeah, hopefully before Friday, yeah, if, yeah, if you have completed it, that will be good so that. Uh, by the time of meeting with Product Indo on uh, Saturday, if it can be applied to production, that will be great because yeah, you, you will be able to uh, know the response from uh, Pak Benny, the product owner. But do not rush it, yeah. Do not rush it. Okay, so if you need time to experiment and so on, make sure that the solution is working great. It's also okay. So there is no like you know you don't have to rush it. Okay, so if it takes like okay, next sir. week to apply to production, uh, it's fine by me. Okay, sir. That's it for this meeting. Thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, should we put the rating? Okay. Yes. Okay. How's about you, sir? Okay, and I would say for me, oh yeah, uh, let me put uh, some cool here, just to make sure. Mm, calendar, where is the calendar? I think it's Luffy Operations, yeah. Okay, just want to put on the subcategory one, maybe clue is that um, for uh, coding, eh? uh, we should just be like uh, WordPress. Okay, so because the the term for that one is actually a widget. So maybe if you uh, Google that, you will find some clues on how to on how to write or develop one. Okay. okay, sir. So for me, yeah, I would say it's a nine. It's uh, yeah, it starts a bit late, but uh, yeah, my fault. But okay, sir. I think we have discussed uh, quite some and you you brought the problem but i think uh, the problem is identified pretty quickly okay about the backup one and i think when you have the full backup uh hopefully you will have no issues here so about no, the sure. the site url one so you were successful in changing the site url right okay sir okay that's nice Okay, thank you very much, sir. Uh, that's all for this meeting. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.